Welcome to Sports Science Tutor. This is a Sports Science Tutorial brought to you by Sports Science Tutor. For more Sports Science Tutorials, please visit SportsScienceTutor.com. Explosive Strength Explosive strength is often confused with power, and whilst the simultaneous expression of both qualities may be possible, it shouldn't hide the fact that they are indeed separate qualities. So the expression of power requires two components. These are force and velocity. And the expression of explosive strength does not require that velocity component. Instead, explosive strength has been defined as the ability to produce maximum force in minimum time. That means a force force platform is required for the direct measurement of explosive strength and the actual calculation of explosive strength requires two values these are peak force production and time to peak force production peak force is divided by time to peak force to determine the expression of explosive strength in a given movement or exercise but we may be interested in additional uh, subcategories of explosive strength as well these might be starting strength or acceleration strength so starting strength is calculated as F0.5 divided by T0.5. And here F0.5 is one half of peak force and T0.5 is the time taken to attain that value. Acceleration strength is calculated as F0.5 divided by the value obtained from subtracting T0.5 from time to peak force. So it's been theorized that uh, starting strength characterizes rate of force development at the beginning of a muscular effort, whilst acceleration strength characterizes rate of force development in the late stages of a muscular, uh, muscular effort. And combining these additional metrics with an overall value for explosive strength could well provide additional value in strength diagnostics as compared to using any one metric in isolation.